Let's discuss seminal movements in music history. First, we have David Bowie, whose name I say because of my distant relationship and relation to Texan resident Jim Bowie. Through my cousin, by blood, not kinship relative, James Knox Polk. Student, of course, to Felix Grundy, born on 9-11-1777. Moving forward, David Bowie invented the concept of the concept album's concept. If you ever wanted to rename something that was already there, you would say the wrong pronunciation of Bowie, the one he claimed to prefer, because you were pretty hip. And then he would stab you to death outside a nightclub or track you down and murder you after having written him a letter in his fan club. But after his record label was informed that he'd been arrested for doing this in America, he had to claim to be bisexual on television, therefore eliminating the range of his retaliation. Next we have Freddie Mercury, the Queen's agent under the band name Queen to counter the Rolling Stones and their separate and superfluous influence upon the American geopolitics of the quite necessary Vietnam War. Freddie Mercury was pranked by Mick Jagger over and over again by Mick Jagger creating a rumor that Freddie Mercury, for Freddie Mercury was gay for being in the Navy and then leaving the room before Freddie Mercury would, a lot, would arrive. Having timed this, of course, through understanding that if you show up early to a party and go into the bathroom selling coke, you can say whatever you want and leave. Freddie Mercury then began Queen's tradition of taking Freddie Mercury himself and somehow referencing himself having sexy sex with the fan. That way, in music rock history, if you listen to Queen, we know you're gay, unless it's evil. In which case, Freddie Mercury is the man on bottom, and there's a woman somewhere else buying coke from Mick Jagger. Then we have Megadeth. Megadeth has a three-stage concept set. There is all these songs about your favorite fate you want. There's Captive Honor. In case someone tries to change your song, they go into Captive Honor. Especially if they're framing on Captive Honor, they get a movie. Or the Disintegrators. You put Captain Honor on yourself because Captive Honor because you've been trapped by a biker gang. Their parents were in captive honor. Of course, after the earlier developments in Megadeth, that played the trick stage as primary. Finally, we have Garbage. Lead singer, Shirley Manson. Garbage has a number of song titles and concepts, especially with the video, that gets you sex to be on top sexually. But if you don't listen, because the end of the video, you can't be with the band. You listen to a band called Garbage. What are you, fucking stupid? Shirley Manson doesn't do this to make money. She makes songs to make money, not makes garbage. Garbage is for you, the person buying it. Why'd you buy an album full of garbage? She has great ideas, but she doesn't give them to you. And she still makes money. That's a double investment savings upon audit return. The Delta Force.